I'm gonna show you guys two of my uh, nitrogen fixing trees. This is one of them right here. Scotia brachypetala, also known as the weeping boar bean tree. Also known as the African walnut. And it is native to Southern Africa. As you can see, I'm six feet tall, so this guy's about eight or nine feet tall. Scotia brachypetala is very uh, easy to grow. I put this one in the ground with no amendments. Started watering it pretty regularly. You know, I've, I was trying to, um, you know, est establish a lot of these younger trees. And this one also needed to get established. So it got plenty of water for the first two years. So it grew really fast. And uh, now that it's established, I'm probably going to back off on the watering because... Um, I read a lot about this tree and found out that they will grow very fast if you give them plenty of water. But you know, I don't really want it to grow too fast. I want the pomegranate next to it to keep up. And you know, I want these guys over here, the Atamoya and the Cherimoyas to, to grow a little more. Because if this guy, grows too fast then it's gonna shade them out so I'm gonna back off on the watering now they are uh, semi drought tolerant so that's what I learned that in in poor soil and uh, drought conditions they grow a lot slower but in good soil with plenty of water they grow super fast and uh, another cool thing is this is a flowering tree and it will produce huge amounts of small red flowers sort of like bell-shaped small flowers that will produce lots of nectar and the nectar will actually spill out onto the floor don't plant them next to uh, sidewalks or anything like that um, the nectar drips out of the flowers the nectar attracts a lot of insects which then attract a lot of birds, a lot of bees. I got this tree from my neighbor in about a five gallon size. He grew it from seed because he's got a pretty mature tree. His is about 15 feet tall now and about 10 feet, 10 feet wide or something like that. One day I went over there when it was flowering and I couldn't believe how noisy the tree was from all the bee activity. But that's what caught my attention, you know. I was thinking, man, I want one of those in my yard to attract uh, more bees and that way I can get good pollination on my uh, fruit trees. And then um, it's a good ornamental tree and a good shade tree as well. And then of course, a nitrogen fixture, that's a big plus too. The, um, it produces uh, seed pods, like medium sized round seed pods with seeds inside, which are edible. And they say um, the, the tree has some medicinal properties, like the bark can be used to treat um, heartburn and hangovers. So, really cool tree, uh, fast grower, so I've been pruning it quite a bit. You can see, you know, I've been cutting some of the lower branches. Because this is kind of a high traffic area for me when I'm checking out the avocados, bananas and stuff. So I want to be able to walk right by here start growing down so I pruned it about a month ago but see they kind of hang down so in another month or two I might have to come over and remove some of these 
lower branches once again so it's hard to get the tree to grow straight up that's what I'm trying to say but that's the only thing I don't like everything else is fine and this one doesn't look like it has a lot of foliage because of that because I've been pruning it pretty aggressively my neighbors it looks pretty dense a lot of foliage on it um, but once it gets tall enough and out of the way I'll just let it keep growing up um, so I can get some nice shade here I can sit right here this is like the area where I normally hang out so the next one I want to show you guys is the ice cream bean before I do that, I'm going to show you guys some pictures of the flowers on this tree and maybe the seed pods. This is the second nitrogen fixer, the ice cream bean. And this one is also about eight feet tall now. It was uh, only about a foot tall one year ago. So this one, this one grows even faster. And it's been also very easy to grow. And I haven't even been watering it too much, actually. Because on this side of the yard, I have the more larger established trees. So there's a separate valve. I can shut off this area to water only the younger trees up on top. So this one is not getting a whole lot of water and it's growing very fast. One time I was at a nursery in uh, the city of San Diego, a nursery in someone's house actually. They sell trees out of their front and backyard and I couldn't believe it. I saw a guy buying one of these. It was a little bit smaller than this one for 150 bucks man i got this guy for 10 bucks and one year later he's this big so the fast growing trees you don't want to pay big bucks for man you want to pay the big bucks for a jabba Tikaba, you know um other slower growing trees This guy produces uh, edible fruit. It produces pods with uh, cottony balls inside of it. Very sweet. They say uh, it tastes like vanilla. I couldn't really taste the vanilla, but it is very good. The ice cream bean. It is a tropical tree. This is March eighth today so during this winter it has still been growing you can see that's new growth right here so the cooler temperatures did not affect the tree at all and it definitely loves the heat and I planted this one here to um, kind of block off the the view of that big blue house over there. When I'm when I'm back here in the yard, I want to see lush green foliage and not big houses. So it's a perfect spot for a fast-growing tree. It'll also give me some privacy over here, some windbreak. And uh, also, you know, a big plus, nitrogen fixer. 
So here are some pics on what the fruit looks like.